That's all. Okay, you. okay good. Thank you. Okay. So uh, I think we have done example 3.1. So now we move to 3.2. La. So just I stand a bit on the, what we learned last week. Determine the angular position of the sun from the horizontal surface, which is a recoil solar altitude angle at Gujarat, India. Okay. Then the coordinate is given 23.45 north, 71.19 east on 21st of November. 2021 20, at solar node. Okay. What do you think? You can start now. We want to find solar altitude angle. So you can go to find the equation for solar altitude angle. Yes, this one. Okay. Okay, so to find alpha, you need to know the value of L, latitude, the climate change angle, delta, and also the hour angle. So we find one by one, where is the L, latitude. So from here, latitude definitely is from the coordinate, but don't confuse between latitude and longitude. This one is latitude, okay, and 79 is a longitude. Okay, so we have L, equal to 23.45 degrees and this is the north so we put positive if this is a 23.45 degree south then we have to put a negative for this value okay so after latitude then you have to find the declination angle and remember that the declination angle is depends on the day of the year okay so you can go back to the equation Yes. So the declination angle equal to the nuclear power by sign this value. So you need to know the number of N. Okay. So I put it here, the declination angle. Two eight four plus N. Y365 times 360 degrees. So, what's the value of N? Maybe you can share it with me. Three, two, four. Do you wait? Any other answer? Three to four or three to five? Okay, let's say we start from January. Three to five. Yes, have to include the 21st of November, yes. Because now we are on that day, so we have to use the number on that day. Okay, you also can minus from behind. Three, six, five. Okay. You minus. December, we have to be one day, you minus nine days from the November. Okay, so it's will get three to five. So now you can find the kind of angle.
Okay, Amundil, thank you. So we get negative twenty point four four degree. Okay, so we have L, we have declination angle, then we have we left only our angle. Anyone? What is the value of H? Our angle. Our angle is we take the solar noon as a reference. So at the solar noon, H will be zero. And then if 1 p.m. in the afternoon, then we have the 15 degree positive. Okay. One hour equal to 15 minutes. And before afternoon, we have the negative. Okay. 11 a.m. is negative 15. 10 a.m. is negative 30. So this one, H, as you see the question, it gives you the solar noon. So I know that H equal to zero. Okay. So I should be able to find alpha right now. Once I substitute the L and the kinetic angle into the equation. Forty six point one. Okay, please check. Uh, I didn't calculate. Uh, assume that the answer from Munjun uh, is correct. Okay, you can see that as I said, uh, maximum uh, altitude angle or solar altitude have the maximum value at solar noon. But you can see, even at solar noon, the angle is only forty six point one. It's not not near to 90. Okay, we know that the sky, the sun is highest in the sky in the solar node. But you can see just 46%. Just 40, around 45 degrees, but not exactly 90 degrees. So maybe I extend the question a bit. At which day, when alpha will be equal to 90 degrees at the Jara. Okay, when? So we have to look on the equation for the declination angle. Okay, so you want to make the alpha 90 degree, the altitude angle 90 degree at solar. So the sun must be at our, it's 08, directly 90 degree. So your entire shadow is fall on your feet. So mostly you cannot see the shadow. Okay. So in this case, which day in the year that we have this, this situation? Okay, we, maybe you can look back on this. We look, okay, you remember the location of Gujarat. Eh? Gujarat, India is located at 23.45 north. Okay, so 23.45 north. Eh? So we go back to this uh, movement of the sun. This one is, yeah. Okay, maybe I draw a bit. Okay, let's say this uh, north south axis, the middle line is the uh, equator. Okay, so we know that uh, the Gujarat is located here. Okay, and the angle is uh, no place to write 23.45 degree north. Okay, and then we know that the sun, you can see that the sun, let's say in the December 21. This is the equator line. Okay, the sun is the sun ray is twenty three point four five degree to the south of equator. Okay, but then in the June twenty one, this is the equator. Huh? So the angle here is twenty three point four five. Okay, so it means that at June twenty first, the sunlight will hit on exactly on the location where the latitude is twenty three point four five which is Gujarat, okay? So at that day, we only have the alpha equal to 90 degree at Solana, 21st of June, okay? So maybe we can do back the calculation, 21st of June, 21st of June. 
So the number of n will be uh, June is middle. You can start. You can start from the back or start from the front, but almost the same now. So n is one seven two. Okay. Let me know you get the answer. So now you substitute one seven two into this uh equation for the kinetic angle. So is that uh twenty three point four five? Should be close to it, lah. Uh. Okay, so I get exactly 23.45. Okay, so you take this delta equal to 23.45 and then you find alpha. What is the value when the kinetic angle equal to 23.45 degree? So try to substitute back. See whether you can get 90. Exactly 90. Okay, this is the only day in Gujarat experience the uh, alpha equal to 90. Okay, or we call it sub solar point, or maybe someone call it as a Lahainami. Okay, maybe I'll show you a, a little bit photo of it. Okay, you, if you look on this picture, you can see that this is a real picture under the sun. The, the, the beam is under the sun. But you can see that you do not see any shadow because it's exactly on the top. Okay, the sun is exactly on the top. So you can see that something like Photoshop, uh, because you cannot see the shadow, you can see that it's on something like Photoshop. Okay, a straight or 90 degree bar, you should not see any shadow, but you can see if the car in the back will see, see the shadow. Okay, you can see the tree, uh, very nice. Okay, so this we call it as a lahan, and you can see that this one, uh, I see, okay. Okay, you can see this one. Uh, I can't remember this structure is at where, but it will give you a very nice shadow at the middle, at the center, very symmetrical shadow at the center, only during the Lahana Moon. This proof that uh, we have this thing during the Lahana Moon. Okay? Yeah, this one. See that I can see the clearer picture on this. Or they call it as a stargate. Okay, this one they call it a stargate. How about Malaysia? When we have the Lahana? Malaysia we experience two times Lahana noon a year. Okay. As you can see, if you look on the graph over here. This Gujarat is on the 23.45, exactly the point of 23.45. So the sun will move from uh, equated, move up to 23.45, and go down to 23.45 below the equator or the south of the equator, and then come back to the equator. So you can see they make one cycle. So actually one year, you only pass one time on the Gujarat. But in Malaysia, we are close to equator. You can see that the sun actually moved Maybe you start from here, okay, move up, move down, and move up again. This is the complete of one year, okay? So actually, location of Malaysia is here. You can see that actually it crossed two times. So we have the two times, two days in a year, we have the Lahana Moon, okay, or sub-solar point. So we can make estimate when is it, okay? So on the top of it is June 21. And when it's at the equator is March 21 or September 21, according to this line, okay? So on March 21 and September 21, you can see that Malaysia is very close to here. 
So I would guess between June to September, but it close to September. Okay, maybe beginning of September, you have period one. Maybe uh, now July is a two month to go. Okay. So and another, another fun time is during the sun move from March to June. I think in maybe end of March or beginning of April, we will experience the second time of the Lahana Noon. Okay. It's like num num that day, cloudy day, then you cannot see anything. Uh. Hmm. Okay. So no issue, uh, just continue. Uh, then we move to the local solar time and local time. Okay, maybe we make it... Uh, okay, this is the standard name. They call it local solar time and local time. Okay, but maybe you can generalize call it as a solar time and local time. Solar time is a time accordingly to the movement of the sun. And local time is a time on our watch, which is uh, set by the government, set by the country. Okay. So uh, you can see that why they want the standard form they call it as a local solar time. Because this solar time is different from location to location. Okay, so it's a localized value. So the, the standard way they call it as a local solar time. Now. But I just afraid that you were confused. This one local, this one also local. Okay, so we call it solar time and local time in the future. Now. Okay, but in a short form, we still write as RST as a solar time and LT as a local time. Okay, so you can see that uh, 12 noon local solar time is defined as when the sun is highest in the sky. We call it as a solar noon. The 12 p.m. on our clock is not the solar noon, it's just a noon. Okay, it's a man made noon, la. it's not the real noon. So local time usually vary from local solar time because of human adjustment, such as the time zone and daylight saving. Okay, daylight saving is not applicable in Malaysia. Lah. So this one is more on the winter country. Uh, they want to, during the winter time, uh, the day will be shorter. So they want you to wake up early, so they adjust the time, plus one or negative one, depends on the location. Lah. Okay, but in Malaysia, we don't have this daytime saving. I think still a few countries like UK, they still experience this data saving. Okay, so it means that once you go into the winter, then you have to adjust the clock one hour. Okay, but we don't have that. So we just take care of the time zone. Okay, you can see that if you look on the figure at the right hand side, yeah, this one, you can see that Malaysia, Malaysia is including Peninsula Malaysia, Sabah and Sarawak. But if you look on the time zone, or where is Malaysia? Oh yeah. Okay. Okay. You can see the red red point. Yeah. Uh, this is Malaysia. So in Peninsula Malaysia, we are. You can see. Yeah. Uh, this is seven o'clock. Okay. Or time zone of plus seven. Actually, Peninsula Malaysia is in the zone of plus seven, but Sabah Sarawak is in the zone of plus eight then we don't want to have the one country have two different time zones. So we use the standard time zone for entire Malaysia. So we use plus eight. Okay, but why don't use plus seven? I don't know. Maybe they want to be the same as uh, uh, whatever country is plus eight. Okay. So you can see what else com country is in the plus eight here. Okay, China, Korea. Okay, but some of the country like US, because US is too big, US, USA. Okay, so they will separate the country into a few different time zones. Okay, so you cross the state, so it's immediately you have to adjust your clock. Lah. Okay, this is a uh, local time. We adjust accordingly to meet a certain requirement lah, to, to make you, uh, to make us easier. Lah. Or else, let's say, I have a meeting with the person in Penang. So, uh, I asked, I said, I want to meet at 7 p.m. But I think then maybe slightly early. So they wait me at 7.30 p.m. Ping then time. But Ping then time 7.30 and KL time 7.30 is different. Okay, you will have the same time only when you have the same long medium. You are exactly on the same line. You shifted to the left or right or east or west, then it means that you are not in the same line, then your time will be different. And this is very obvious when you look on the Sabah Sarawak. You can see 
how far they say we say on the Sabah lah. Sabah is quite far from Peninsula Malaysia. So in Peninsula Malaysia, we experience the sunset at maybe seven thirty p.m. How about in Sabah? Anyone from Sabah, Sarawak? I think you will have maybe one hour or one hour plus early than Peninsula Malaysia. Okay, maybe uh six p.m. or six thirty, you already have the ah uh, Kenny okay, yeah. What time is the sunset? Ah uh, Kenny, you are from Sabah, Sarawak. Ah, uh, so we can see that it's totally different. This is because of the we adjust the time. Okay, so that now when we want to know uh, the movement of the sun, we want to study where is the location of the sun. Then, uh, we cannot follow whatever on our clock. We need to follow the exact solar time. That's why this is included in the syllabus. Okay, you need to understand how the sun moves. Then you only can track the sun. Okay, so let's do a. Uh, Ah, uh, see, ah, uh, Kenny, six p.m. getting dark. Yes, one hour plus compared to Peninsula Malaysia. We adjust quite a lot. Okay, so ah, uh, conversion between local solar time and local time. So this is the standard equation. You see, very simple. Rsd equal to Lt plus Dc over sixty. Okay, solar time equal to local time plus Dc over sixty. This Dc is referred to the time correction factor. In minute, that's why you can, you can see that we divide by sixty. So you get the unit in hour. This local solar time and local time, the unit should be in hour. Okay. So time correction factor over here. Okay. And then when we use this equation, please bear in mind that the unit, ah, uh, whether it's eleven thirty p.m. Eleven thirty is actually when you put into the equation. You don't put eleven point three, ah. It's eleven point five. Okay, make sure that you convert them into the decimal point. Or if you don't want to do that, remember to use the function in your calculator where you can key in the hour, minute, and second correctly. Okay, or else your calculation will wrong. Huh? So please bear in mind on this. I think a lot of you will make some mistake. Not because of you don't understand, but you put C zero point three oh, then you type zero point three oh in calculator. Uh, this uh, mistake lah. Okay. And try to use um twenty four hour unit lah, so that uh you can see the different or else later you get negative. You thought that the answer is wrong. Okay, you use twenty four hour unit so you can see properly lah. But of course, if you already understand, you use a twelve hour unit, no issue. Okay, just don't confuse with it. Okay, so now we talk about what is mean by time correction factor T C. Okay, so which is referred to the net time correction factor in minute, a correct account for the variation of the local solar time given time zone. Okay, and maybe in general, we don't we need to read it. Time correction factor. Remember that our country adjusts the time zone. Supposedly, Peninsula located in the time zone of plus seven, but we adjust to plus eight. So now I want to adjust that. Okay, so how I want to adjust? I compare two different things. The exact location, okay, which refer to the longitude and the time zone at that location, okay. So let's say in Malaysia, ah, Malaysia to be Kuala Lumpur. Kuala Lumpur have the um longitude. One zero something lah. I can't remember one zero. Okay. Okay, one zero one. Okay, Kuala Lumpur have the coordinate of one zero one. Okay, so supposingly we need to use the time zone of one zero one, but now we adjust. We use positive eight. The time zone we use is positive eight. So we want to make the adjustment. Okay, so we use the, the equation of here. Tc equal to four longitude as a plus zero. So longitude in Kuala Lumpur one zero one degree, and we need to remember east or west. So Kuala Lumpur is east, so it's okay lah. You just put positive value, but if west, so you have to put a negative in front. Okay, but this one, uh, I think uh, very easy to remember lah. You don't need to take care of east or west. You put the angle and look on the RSTM. Is RSTM? 
the time zone for that location is um, positive, that means that your longitude must be positive as well. It won't be our time zone, it, sorry, it won't be our longitude is in negative in, in, in the west, but you use the time zone from east, totally impossible. We will try to make it as close as the actual time zone. Okay, of course we adjust a little bit to make it a convenient, convenient, but we won't adjust too much. Okay, or else the time we miss uh, its meaning already lah. Okay, so you can see that uh, our time zone is plus eight. Now I want to convert this plus eight into the angle because one zero one longitude is angle. So you want to make the minus or summation, then it must be the same unit. Okay, so try imagine that one rotation of the Earth is actually 24 hours. Okay, so one rotation in mathematics we have 360 degrees. So one hour equivalent to 15 degrees. Okay, so I just take 360 divided by 24. 24 hours. Okay, so one hour equal to 15 minutes. Sorry, 15 degrees. So our SDM refer to the in general way, you can say the RSTM is the time zone in set in degree. So I just put plus eight times 50 degree. Okay, so now I adjust back already. One zero one minus eight times 15. Okay, I adjust back to whatever it should be. Okay, and I multiply with four because a uh, time correction factor, the unit must be in terms of minute. So this in terms of degree, and I know that one hour is 15 degree. So it's mean that 60, 60 minute equivalent to 15 degree, or one degree equal to four minute. So now I want to convert from degree to minute. So I multiply four, okay? So now this term done. This is because of the um, adjustment by different, different location. So I adjust, Local solar time to local time, then settle. But actually, one day is not 24 hours exactly. So we have this equation of time. Okay, but the effect of equation of time is uh, not so big lah, compared to the difference between longitude and the LST. Okay, we will talk about this later, equation of time. Okay, this one, LST is the local standard time meridian. Okay. This means the time zone. Lah. So we take the Greenwich as a reference point in UK. Lah. The Greenwich is located at UK because they make the time. <laughs> okay. uh, they start. So we take them as a reference point. Okay. So at Greenwich, UK, uh, the time zone is plus zero. Okay. They are exactly the same time zone. Okay. And then, okay, this one is our SDM equal to 15 degree times the local time, time zone, or we call it as a Greenwich mean time, GMT. Okay, I already explained huh? so I can skip this. Now we talk about equation of time. Equation of time is an empirical equation that correct for the eccentric city of Earth orbit and Earth axial field. Okay, uh, something like this. If you refer to this, Okay, maybe I uh, I start it explain first. Uh, the rotation of Earth, one rotation, one complete evolution is not 24 hours, but actually it's only 23.9 hours. Okay, maybe I look at this slide. Okay, you can see that the blue line represents the duration to complete one cycle. Or one rotation by the Earth self evolution. Okay, we call it as a sidereal day. Then this is only 23.9 hours. Okay, and this value is constant, it's always fixed. Okay, it means that one rotation definitely is 23.9 hours. But how we determine one day is not by one rotation of Earth. Okay, because how you know that the Earth already complete one location? Based on what you can measure 
the earth already complete one rotation. Maybe you are you are in a space, then you, you can see that like, oh, the earth rotate from this point and then back to that original point. So one rotation. That that is if you are able to go to space. But what if you are on the ground and you want to know how long it takes to rotate one rotation? We are not able to measure it. That's why whatever day that we map we call now we call it solar day, which is the sidereal day plus a little bit of the change. This is due to the, uh, we take the, a day as today solar noon until tomorrow solar noon. Okay, this is the only point that we can measure. We know that at solar noon, the schedule must be on the south or not. Okay, so I take the time. And then from next day, I do the same thing until the schedule fall on the north or south. Okay, then I know that this is the daily length. Okay. So from one day noon to a second day noon, we call as a solar day. And this is approximate 24 hours. Okay, so something like this. But why not exactly 24 hours? So you look on this. This is the Earth orbit. Huh? Uh, should be ellipse, huh? but hmm, my head a bit tattered, so I can draw ellipse. Okay, so this is a uh, sun. So the Earth rotate around the sun and itself to both, okay? So this is today. This is tomorrow, okay? So you can see that to achieve one rotation, which is 300 degrees, okay? Uh, from this point until this point, this must be the same line, uh, same angle, okay? So we call it complete one cycle, which is 360 degrees. But this 360 degree is not able to make the location pointed to the sun again. So you need to move extra point. Okay, you need to rotate maybe around for another five degree. Okay, so it means that one day, one solar day is not equivalent to one rotation. Okay, one rotation plus three because you want to make it pointed to the sun again. Okay, because how this is how we measure the solar day. Okay, not one rotation, but from today noon to tomorrow noon. So it will have one rotation plus a bit. But why this value, let's say I say five degree. This value five degree is not a constant. It will change according to the date. Okay, then we go back to this um, Earth orbit. Okay, you can see that Earth orbit is ellipse, and at some of the location, the Earth is quite close to the Sun, and some of the location is getting far away. You can see 152 times 1 10 power of 6 and 1547 times 10 power of 6, the difference in distance. Okay, then why the Earth will not shock by the gravity of the Sun and fall on the Sun? Remember that how we make a satellite. You can see that satellite fly on the outer of the space, but it won't fall down because of the centipede force or centipede acceleration. Okay, something like you put a, a, a string and holding a mass and you swing it. You can feel that there is a force uh, pointing outward. It pull, pull the things outward. This one we call it as a centipede force. And Together with the gravitational force pulling inner, okay, it will cancel out each other. So it will be complete the orbit. It will be floating. It won't fall down by the gravity. Okay, because the gravitational force from the sun and the centripetal force from the Earth, uh, Fc, and this one is a Fg, is equivalent. Okay. So that it can start each other. So the Earth will not move, will not pull by the sun gravitation force. Okay, but you see that the distance is different. Okay, and then the scientific force so to be m r squared. Okay, uh, it means that sorry, not m r m r squared, m v squared or what? Okay, uh, it means that the scientific force is depends on the distance from the center. 
Okay. So that it means that some of the case when the sun is sorry, the earth is closer to the sun, you need to move faster to create the centrifugal force equal to the gravitational force. Okay. In other words, when the sun, the earth closer to the sun, it will move faster based on the orbit. It will round the sun faster. Okay. When the earth is quite far from the sun, then you move slower. So it means that at this point, at December 21, the earth will rotate around the sun faster. But in the June 21, it will rotate slower. Okay. So you can see that the change in speed. So that makes the angle different. Sometimes 5 degree, sometimes 3 degree, sometimes 6 degree. Okay. So this makes the day until the next day solar node have the different duration because sometimes it moves under this point only but when you move faster next day it already move under this point so it need to rotate more to back to point it to the solar node okay so we have this equation of time because of the sun uh, everything uh, as I explained the sun okay and other than this, uh, this we have another um, things that cause the day length is not consistent because of the uh, axis of the Earth is tilted. Okay, this makes the sun appear across uh, one center meridian at different time than if the axis were perpendicular to the orbital day. You can see that. The sunlight is not hit exactly on the equator, which is the center of the rotation. Okay, but it's on the north of it or on the south of it. And make this uh, complete one noon to snack noon have the different time. Okay, so these are the two uh, reasons why we need to have the equation of time. Okay, the reason is just. Uh, to let you understand that, but we always have the equation to represent this. Okay, this is the equation of time. Okay, you need to know uh, how to use it and what's the difference. Lah. So to explain, I think uh, not until that, that extent. Lah. Okay, but if you can understand, it's better. Lah. Okay, so this is the equation of time. You can see that it changed from uh, positive, maximum is positive 60, and minimum is negative 50. So it means that in one day, solar day, the day length will change from 23 hours, 45 minutes to 24 hours, 15 minutes. They have a, around 30 minutes different. Okay, and then the change based on this graph. And the graph is no longer able to represent using a single sign as what we do in the uh, declination angle. This is a complex sign wave or maybe combination of few sine waves. So uh, we come up with the equation, EOT equal to 9.87 sine 2B minus 7.53 cos B minus 1.5 sine B. Okay, and then the B is calculated based on the number of day in a year, which N equal to 81 times 360 over 365. Okay, so this is the equation for equation of time. Okay, so now we're back to the Conversion, okay, conversion here. So LSD equal to LT plus DC over 60, but the DC is referred to four times longitude minus LSDM plus EOD. And the EOD has another equation. Yeah, this is the equation for EOD. So actually the, to, to convert from local solar time to local time, actually the calculation is quite devious not so direct forward. You need to get a lot of information. Okay? So maybe we can try one of it. Maybe uh, for this one, calculate the solar time at this moment. Uh, okay, lah, to make it simple, we take it as 6 p.m. Okay? Assume that now it's 6 p.m. So now you need to calculate what is the local time. Sorry, what is the solar time right now at Kuala Lumpur? Okay. 
So you can use the equation LSD equal to LD plus DC over 60. And then you need to find DC, you need to find equation of time. Maybe we can start from number of N. We know that definitely we have to use N. What's the number of N for today? Today is um, uh, 12 of um, July. So what is the number of N? One. one nine three. Okay, send you. Yeah, I think. Yeah, I get one nine three too. Okay, once you have the n equal to one nine three, then you can calculate for the equation of time. So we start from B. Lah. The answer the unit to be in minute. Anyone have the answer? Negative five point two three eight one. Okay, lah. Negative five point two three nine. Unit is mini. Okay, maybe uh, just go through a bit on the graph. Today is one nine three, one nine three. So I think quite close last to be negative mm, around five. Okay. So you can take the graph to just verify your answer lah, so that you won't too far from the answer. Okay. So once you get EOD, now you can try to find TC. Time correction factor. Okay, four longitude one zero one point. One seven RSDM plus eight multiply with fifteen degree 
plus negative five point two three nine. Eighty point negative eighty point five five nine. So you can see that the solar time and the local time, the difference is eighty minutes. Ah, quite a lot. Huh? <laughs> okay, now you can calculate for the local solar time. Local solar time equal to local time plus DC over sixty. Local time is 6 p.m. So I put 89 plus DC is a negative 18.559 divided 60. Okay, wait, correct, 16.657. But don't leave the time in the decimal point. You have to convert to our hour and minute, yeah. So just click on the, press on the button, it will convert for you. Uh, 16, 39, 26. Okay. 4, 3, 9, 2, 6, yes, correct. So actually now it's only, uh, four, 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 zero p.m. But actually, we always almost six p.m. This is how much adjust. And the amount that we adjust is different. Why? Oh, sorry. Uh, the, um, the difference between solar time and the uh, uh, local time is different from day to day. Okay. Sometimes we'll be closer. Sometimes we'll be farther, further. Okay. Depends on the equation of time. So as uh, I think in Peninsula Malaysia, Kuala Lumpur, the difference can be from 60 minutes to 90 minutes. Okay, sometimes one hour, sometimes one hour, 30 minutes. The difference between the local time and local solar time. So if you want to put in AM, PM or something, four, three, nine, two, six, PM. Okay, uh, a lot of calculation, but I think not difficult. We just apply the equation. But just bear in mind that uh, you have to use a correct value for longitude. Some of them will use latitude. <laughs> Some of them, north or south, they are positive, negative, they are put wrongly. So I think the best way is to refer to the LSTM. Normally, the LSTM will not be too far from here. You can see that LSTM. 8 times 15, so you will get uh, 120, okay? 120, very possible in compare with 3.14, mostly not, okay? Because 120 degree, one hour is 15 degree, if you compare with 3.14, it means that it's about seven hour plus different between local time and solar time. It's totally possible. As long as you have the idea in mind, then I think it should be no problem. Huh? You will know that this one, 101.17 one is correct, right? okay? And let's say this one is a, not east, it's a west. We have to put negative. But again, this time zone must be negative as well. Won't be the longitude is positive, but the time zone is negative, not positive. Okay? Okay, let's move to the next example, example 3.4. Maybe you can try. It's, uh, okay, la. the year is doesn't matter. La. Because we assume that every year hmm, is the same. So we just take one separate. Then you need to know the hour angle for Kuala Lumpur at 3 p.m. local time. Very carefully, local time and local solar time.
So, question asks for our angle. In other words, we need to find for the local solar time because our angle is always take the solar known as a reference. So, it's mean that our angle take the local solar time as a reference. You know the hour angle, you will know the solar time. You know the solar time, you will know the hour angle. Okay? Normally, uh, the difficulty of this is uh, normally the question asks for our hour angle. So, students will automatically go to find the equation with the hour angle. Yes, you can find the equation with hour angle, but you cannot solve it. Okay? Because this hour angle must be convert from time but not from angle so i think you have to do the similar thing like, like this okay so we start from b uh, sorry start from n so first of february diary you can get 32 okay then b equal to 32 Minus twenty one. Just let me know uh, if my answer is not correct because I just press on the calculator. Mm. Give me a value for equation of time. Uh, Problem on this? Oh, okay. Yeah. Equation of time. Negative thirteen point six eight nine. Sinchen, uh, yes, same answer as mine. I can proceed to find the time correction factor, BC. Nine point zero one negative. Okay. 
a second. Huh? Okay, so the local solar time at 3 p.m. should be at 3, 1 30 p.m. Okay, so adjustment around um, 98. So now, next step. How I want to convert from local solar time to our angle. Okay, so you have to check uh, this local solar time is how long from solar. Okay, let's say this line is solar. And solar is 12 p.m. local solar time. And now it's uh, 1 31 p.m. Okay, so what is our angle? One hour equivalent to 15 degree. So one hour and 31 minute from solar is how many degree? Thirty two by one point two. Yeah, it's twenty two point seven four. Uh, the way why you get negative twenty two one point two. Okay, if our angle of negative is mean that before solar is mean in the morning, but this one we already get one thirty p.m. So definitely it's an afternoon. Okay, so we get positive twenty two point seven five. Okay, of course we don't need to put the positive lah. In no sign, I assume that it's positive. Okay. So you can see when the question asks for our angle, sometimes you not really need to use the equation for uh, our angle. For example, you not really need to use uh, where is the equation? Okay, you can see uh, this one has the our angle. Okay, so you try to find from here, then uh, we cannot get the answer. Or you want to try to find from here, you also cannot get the answer. Okay, so we have to find from the time. So local solar time. Okay. And you need to also know the characteristic of our anchor, when it should have the positive value, when it should have a negative value. Negative value is mean that before solar. Moon. Positive value is mean that after the solar. Moon. If it is not matched with the answer or the time that you know, then better to check your calculation. Okay, so I know that hey, positive, oh, okay, now it's afternoon, then positive, okay, lah, at least. Mm -hmm. Okay, I think we will stop here today. Any other question before we dismiss? Oh, okay. Uh, Samuel? Uh, the hour angle, the H value is referred to hour angle. Okay, so you can see that we get the local solar time. Yeah. Okay, we get the local solar time. The local solar time is uh one thirty, sorry, one thirty one uh, fifty nine seconds really. So I put one thirty one p.m. So one thirty one p.m. 
It just mean that one hour and 31 minute from solar noon. Okay, because 1.30 p.m. It means that from 12 p.m. is one hour and 30, 31 minute. Okay, so if I want to convert this time to angle, okay, I just multiply by 15 degree because uh, one hour equivalent to 15 degree. So I take one hour, 31 minute times 15 degree, I will get 23 point, sorry, 22.75. Is that okay, Samuel? Okay, sir. Okay, thank you. Okay, so I any other question? Okay, so if no more question, then thank you for your time and see you on Wednesday. Okay, bye. Thank you, sir. Okay, thank you, uh, Renda.